All right, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. This is going to be the first video of 2025. And today I want to quickly show you how to set a PlayStation 4 emulation on your Steam Deck. Now, PlayStation 4 emulation has been out for quite a while, but it now just became very easy to install it because the emulator has been added to EmuDeck. Now, if you don't know, EmuDeck is a one and all solution for all types of emulators, and it is really, really easy to set up. It takes care of all the setup and all the configuration for you. So, without further ado, let's start. Now what you want to do first is go to desktop mode and then you want to open your favorite browser and just type in emudeck. Now the first page that pops up is the one that you're looking for and then you can just scroll down and click on the download button and then scroll further to select SteamOS. So this is going to download a file which you do need to place on your desktop in order to execute it. So copy it if it goes to downloads, just copy it, place it on your desktop and then double click it. Click on execute and that's going to launch EmuDeck. Now EmuDeck has a multitude of launchers. You can emulate pretty much any console from the last 30 years and you can install every one of them. And we don't want to do that. We just want to do the PlayStation 4 right now. So once EmuDeck starts, you want to select custom mode and then here I choose SD card because I prefer having my ROMs on my SD card. I have an SD card just for emulation. We're going to choose Steam Deck and then we're going to deselect all of the emulators that we don't want to install and we are just going to select SHAD PS4. It's going to give you a prompt that is still uh, an exper experimental emulator and there might be a lot of problems for it. You just want to click OK on that. Click Next and you can choose some configurations here. For example, you can choose what the front end looks like. This is mainly used for all the other emulators. If you want to have like a library of different emulators, different games and different uh, different ROMs you can do that for our case it's really not necessary so you can just click next and it's going to start installing everything now this has been sped up it should take about two to three minutes depending on your internet connection because it is downloading some files but once it's done you will see some further prompts that you can pretty much ignore because the installation has been done so what you want to do next is you can close and you can open emudeck again and on the front page you're going to see emudeck news and the top left as of recording this video is going to be how to install shot ps4 and there's going to be some guide you can click on steam os wiki here and you can read a lot more about the actual configuration of it and how you can tinker with some of the settings now we don't need to do any of that but it is a nice read so i recommend checking it out now what you want to do next is just go to the start menu on your steam deck and type in shot ps4 shot ps4 app image this will start the actual emulator now as you can see i already have a game added it's called nine miami but what i'm doing right now is i'm going to be installing woodborne now my version of woodborne even though it says 1.0.9 which is the latest version actually extracts 1.0 now here you don't want to worry about it the bigger the game is the more it's gonna hang you can just leave this for around 10 minutes and eventually the game will install and you should see this message game successfully installed and then you can just click ok on that and from that you can watch the game now my game is version 1.0 which is not the latest version of the game it's um it's the rom that i found i'm not gonna tell you where you can find these roms because this gets a little bit illegal but you can google that but if you do have the correct version, you can right click and install patches. These patches will force 30 FPS mode, will lower the graphics and will basically make the game run a little bit better. Now, in my version, I'm just running it as it is, so it's not running perfectly well. But you can check out some other YouTube videos of people who have managed to get Bloodborne running at 30 FPS on the Steam Deck and it looks pretty playable. Now the last thing you want to do is you want to go to Start Menu again, you want to look for Shot PS4 and you can right click and select Add to Steam Library and that's just going to add it to your library. Then you can go to Gaming Mode and just start it from there. It's usually located in the non-Steam category of your library. You can just start it from there and then you can start your games directly from Game Mode. So that's going to be it for the guide. It's pretty easy to do. Now there are a ton of guides and a ton of people out there who have managed to make this work without EmuDeck, but EmuDeck just makes it so much easier for people who are not that tech savvy and who just want to uh, get this going. So that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you were able to play Woodborne or any other PlayStation 4 games on your Steam Deck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.